Welcome to the Umbrella Academy. This is how you open an umbrella, and this is how you close an umbrella. Now say thank you. Thank you. The Umbrella Academy is the story of seven people born seconds apart, adopted and raised to use their superpowers by a world-traveling adventurer named the Monocle. And that's all covered in the first five pages. It's created by Gerard Way, best known as lead singer of My Chemical Romance, who also actually writes the comic. And what fun writing it is, with kooky adventures and powers told at a fast pace with a retro Victorian style narration. Gabriel Ba delivers the artwork with his usual clean storytelling, combined with an edge of Mike McNola's Hellboy. The only complaint would be how a couple of the characters look similar as children, but this is a minor complaint in what is a surprisingly excellent and fun comic. We highly recommend The Umbrella Academy with four oranges. When we come back, we'll be reviewing The Exterminators and Runaways. Fellas, I'm ready to get up and do my thing. Like some kind of mechanized device built for copulation with a lady. What? Issue number 22 of the X- Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Your voice is so annoying and pitchy! Let me do the next review! I would like to tell your viewers about my favorite comic, The Exterminators! Annoying and pitchy? He must be one of those commenters on YouTube. The Exterminators was originally proposed as a TV series by writer Simon Oliver, and it follows the formula of a hit HBO show. Take an ignored profession, in this case pest control, gather some crazy characters with dark pasts such as a reformed ex-con and a Buddha spawning urban cowboy, have an underlying apocalyptic conspiracy theory storyline like the prophesized rise of a world-ending cockroach messiah, and mix with lots of sex drugs and voila, instant hit. We love it, except we can see how it's not for everyone with heavy adult content and it sometimes goes too far with the eccentric characters, asking us to accept too much weirdness. Original artist Tony Moore's work is excellent as always, managing to mix dimension, grit, action, filth, and comedy. Currently, art is in the very capable hands of Derek Robertson, who continues the fine work that clearly tells the story. Exterminators may not be for everyone, but for those looking for something strange and different, there's already three volumes for you to check out. We give Exterminators three oranges out of five. So Joan Jett, we hear you were in The Runaways. Yeah, I was in The Runaways. I love rock and roll. So what was it like to work with Joss Whedon? Joss who? Ah, huh. okay, um, what's your superpower? Uh, cherry bomb? Marvel's Runaways has become a modern favorite of comic readers with teenage characters and storylines written honestly and fresh by their original creators Brian K. Vaughn and Adrian Alfona. Vaughn and Alfona have moved on, with writing chores now picked up by another fan favorite, Joss Whedon. Whedon certainly knows how to write realistic teenagers. Eight seasons of Buffy? Can't be wrong. But between the delays and the mad action in the first three issues, something seems off with the characters. They don't really have room to talk to each other, though there are excellent touches here and there. Likewise, the art by Michael Ryan is also missing something and can be quite uneven. Some pages elegantly mix historical detail with dynamic action and composition, while others just feel flat and stiff. The new creative team may need more time to get in gear with Runaways, so for now we're giving it three oranges out of five. Well, that's it for this week. Go to economicorange.com to submit your own reviews or leave us comments at Pulp Secret or on YouTube. Bye. <laughs> Yipe, Duke!